Hello friends, in this video we are going to take question number 39 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7 of NCRT maths textbook class 12. So friends, the question is like this, we have to prove that the integration of sine inverse x dx from the limit 0 to 1 is equal to pi by 2 minus 1. Now let us see how we are going to solve this question. So first of all, I take this definite integral and I assume that it is equal to i okay now I see here is this that I can integrate this function directly by applying the formula of integration by parts by assuming the second function as equal to 1 okay because I cannot integrate sine inverse x but I can definitely differentiate sine inverse x so on applying the formula of integration by parts and keeping the second function as equal to 1 I can write the value of i as equal to sine inverse x into integration of 1 dx from the limit 0 to 1 minus differentiation of sine inverse x into integration of 1 dx and this product is going to be integrated with respect to x again from the limit 0 to 1 okay and for this reason I have not placed here the limits okay now integration of of 1 would be equal to x okay differentiation of sine inverse x would be equal to 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square and integration of 1 here would again be equal to x so I can write this as equal to x into sine inverse x from the limit 0 to 1 minus integration of x upon square root of 1 minus x square that is the product of these two value dx from the limit 0 to 1 now this value can only be integrated by substitution method okay so I'm going to solve this separately okay so I've taken this indefinite integral okay and uh, to perform the substitution I'm going to assume 1 minus x square is equal to t on differentiating both sides with respect to x I'm going to get minus 2x dx as equal to dt or dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 dt okay so here I'm going to get the value as equal to minus 1 by 2 times integration of 1 upon square root of t dt now integration of square root of t that is integration of t to the power of 1 by 2 would be equal to 2 root t okay so this 2 and 2 is going to cancel out so I'm going to get this value as minus square root of 1 minus x square plus c so the value of this integral or rather this indefinite integral is equal to this value so on placing the limits I'm going to get the values like this the value of this definite integral would be equal to minus square root of 1 minus x square from the limit 0 to 1 now I'm going to solve for the limits and this value would give me 1 into sine inverse of 1 minus 0 into sine inverse of 0 minus in bracket minus of square root of 1 minus 1 square minus minus of square root of 1 minus 0 square so this value will become 0 this value will become 0 this value will become 1 now sine inverse 1 is equal to pi by 2 so here I'm going to get pi by 2 this value is 0 this value is 0 this value was 1 so the, this gives me the total as equal to pi by 2 minus 1 so this proves that the value of this definite integral is equal to pi by 2 minus 1 so which we were required to prove hence we have solved this question